Uh, this is an update on the Bettendorf Davenport and Eastern Railroad. Started in March, mid March of 2008. That's a uh, 2102 steam engine over there and a Chicago Northwestern F7. I'll run those in a second. This is a SD40-2 sitting on top of the bridge with a consist of big GE-8s under the bridge. These are This is the control station area using a NCE power cab digital command control system. Right now the total current draw is 0.57 amp. All six locomotives are sitting on the track but none of them are activated. So what you're seeing is six decoders functioning. The uh, three turnouts on the layout that are electrified are right here. They're using tortoise under table switch machines. And the remainder of the turnouts are ground throws at this point anyway. What I'll do is uh, start up this uh, SD40 give you an idea what this one sounds like. The SD40 is number 3130 and I've called it up in the control unit and I'll just uh, activate it here. When it's uh, activated it starts to sound up but it's really not doing anything right now. It's just kind of sitting there and uh, idling. Bell. And the horn really sounds like an SD40 horn. Okay, we're going to back this thing out of the siding and onto the main track here. Back it up and put it back in the siding. I'm doing all this with the handheld unit here. Reverse and it's at speed step 44. I'll start up the F7s and we'll take a loop around the layout here. 
Both units are powered. They're consisted, uh, to, so they operate together. Oops, wrong direction. And when you have a consist set up, the power cab shows CON to indicate consist. Both locomotives function as though they're running as one unit, and the sound is on on both of them, but the horn and the bell only work on the front locomotive. This really has an F7 horn. Crank the speed up a little bit. We'll start the steam engine up. The other one's still going. Right now I have the steam engine in control here, and if I press the horn key, that's the one that'll blow. Pressing the recall key on the handheld brings up the other one, and then if I press the... So I've got three locomotives running right now, this AB Consist and the steam engine over here, and I'm drawing about uh, 1.3 amps. Keep in mind the other three are sitting on the track and the decoders are active, so they're drawing some power. I've got some of the landscaping done on the scenery that I've constructed in the side here, the, the tunnel and and uh, the area here, and I've finished this little bridge and pond back here, but I haven't I got gravel and landscaping to put here and and pour some water in there, some plastic water. Little dam at the other end there. That's going to get all gravel and rocks and stuff in there yet. I'm going to start up this consist again. These are the best runners I have. They're they're just spectacular runners. Now if they're both uh, sound equipped in a consist. Only the lead one is going to blow the horn or the bell when I do that. And I'm just going to advance the throttle one step out of 126 steps and this thing will actually start moving. And when the horn blows the head the ditch lights flash. And when I stop it, by turning the throttle down to zero, it goes into neutral, lets off a little air. And again, you're hearing both locomotives. And if I advance the throttle, it's 
They're all these locomotives are set with momentum so they don't start up real fast. The horn has Doppler effect on it to make it sound like the thing is passing by you. Doppler effect is activated at the handheld. Okay, we've got the steam engine turned on here. It's in neutral. And the boiler makes sounds just like a real steam engine would do. It just sits and cooks and does whatever they do. Makes all the racket. bell on this is typical of a steam engine of its era. I'm going to start this up so you can hear the sound of it. I gotta put the camcorder down for a second. I'm gonna get a couple of these going at the same time. Well, I got the steam engine and the dash eights going and backed off away from here, just let them run. Um, the throttle's individually set on each one, so they're they'll go about the same speed. Well, the steam engine and the dash eights are running. I'm going to start this one up. 
take this one out of the siding here while the other ones are going around the other direction. And now the only one I have under control right now is this. The other ones just keep running the way they were set. A little bit about the layout. It's uh, in an area about uh, 13 by 8 or 9 and then I've got this concrete, this is a foundation over here and this shelf goes all the way along here back behind the water heater. I'm going to put a freight yard over in through here and who knows possibly come around behind the furnace and come out with another layout over here where this uh, storage shelf is. These shelves have my tools and stuff on them. And then my landscaping supplies and everything for construction are here. And then I have a little work table underneath the, with a lot of light there, which isn't on. A little work table under there that I can sit at. And this um, lifts up for access. Trains run over quite smoothly, and it's got an interlock on it, so when it's lifted up, the track on each side of the bridge is dead. <laughs> 